Welcome to the Philippines. It's a beautiful country. My name's Jerome Fisher. That's what my mother named me. My friends call me Fish, and you can do so as well. This is my beautiful wife, Rhea. And here's my cock. His name is BMC. You know, bad mother clucka. You know, Gamecock, fighting chicken. But I digress. I think the Philippines is one of the greatest places in the world. And such friendly people. I've been going there regularly for a couple of years now, and as you've seen, of course, my wife is a Filipino and lives in the Philippines. And my experience in the Philippines is a lot different than most vloggers, because they're doing cities and things like that, tourist destinations. I live in the province. It's a very simple life. Most foreigners would not want to do this. They're used to the Western world, want the luxury, things like that. That's not what you get in the province. You get simplicity and happiness. And family means everything. Again, my beautiful wife, she's a keeper, and one of my daughters, July. Unlike most, she's not a shy child. All of the children are so shy, but they're always laughing, singing, playing, and they've always got a smile on their face. They manage to stay happy every day and night without an Xbox or any of that stuff. And this is an every day and every night occurrence. The kids always playing together. This is shot from the front porch and it's like this all the time. And the estrogen in the village far outweighs the testosterone here. Living in the barangay outside the town in the middle of the jungle is a beautiful thing. I love it immensely. And I don't care about dogs barking. I don't care about roosters crowing. There's something always going on. And this is the Philippines that most people don't see. There isn't any running water. There's no flushing toilets. It's an interesting juxtaposition between primitive and modern life. It's simple and it's incredibly relaxing. And yes, that means there's no running hot water. Now, I don't mean to mislead you. I don't live in the Philippines full time but I've been there and lived there long enough off and on to know the rights and wrongs, the goods, the bads, the do's, the don'ts. And if there's anything you wanna know about making the Philippines your home, if that has possibly been a thought of yours, I can certainly help you, give you some information, anything like that. When it comes to visas, land ownership, rules, regulations, because here in the States, I still have a business to run. I've got a house here, things to take care of, but my goal is to be there full time by the end of 2024. Now there is a lot of poverty in the Philippines and I put in place a plan of action and things that I hope to accomplish once I get there. And that entails a brighter future for all the kids there in the village because there aren't a lot of opportunities. And if you could take a moment to subscribe, give a like, share, that would definitely help accomplish a lot of these goals and you'd be much appreciated. I've always had this empathy thing that life isn't just about me, it's what I can do and we can do for others. Helping others become more self-sufficient, learn about the possibilities that exist, fulfill their dreams, because man, they're so special. I get a lot of questions from everybody. Of course, the biggest question I get from my guy friends is, does your wife have a sister? Well, yes, she has three younger sisters. One is married and two are too young to worry about, so we'll move on. But if that's your point and you wanna find a good woman, conservative, loving, that cares about you, the sky is the limit. Now, again, I know some of you may have heard of uh, girls that scam you in the Philippines. True, you always have to be diligent and keep your guard up, but that's not the norm. And besides, there's girls that will scam you in the US. There's girls that will scam you in Europe. There's girls that will scam you in South America. But I'm not gonna dedicate this channel to showing a lot of hot girls and things like that. I know, disappointing some of you, I apologize. Occasionally, I will show you some beauties. But if your intention is coming over here to meet a woman, don't come over here with the intention of just partying it up, hitting and quitting, because the girls are sensitive and they care. A lot of the times I don't give my location because I don't want a bunch of foreigners coming over here and ruining it because it's awesome. But if you're serious, I will definitely give you the facts. Another question I get is how's the food? Well, I'll be honest with you. If you're looking for a big juicy burger, you're out of luck. You can find them in the bigger cities, but you're gonna pay for them. Pizza, you're not gonna get great pizza. Again, maybe some in the bigger cities, but it's not what you're used to. And three things they definitely love here, rice, spaghetti, and fried chicken. Well, actually four. I don't want to forget fish. 
But in the province, there's always fresh fish, there's fresh pork, there's fresh chicken, there's fresh fruit. It doesn't have all those antibiotics and pesticides. It's great for you, it's healthy. But still, there'll be a lot of rice served with it. <laughs> Shrimp, crab, you want some fresh coconut or coconut water? Just have your cousin climb a tree. Even my wife Rhea can scale these coconut trees. Tons of vitamins, really tasty, and it's not the only thing you can get from a coconut tree to drink. Because my wife learned how to climb a coconut tree by her father, who he's been doing it since he was a kid. And when he climbs the trees, he taps them for the coconut sap. Mixes that with a little mangrove bark, and you've got tuba. Coconut wine. And although I've had it many times, nobody makes it like Rhea's father. It's the best. Well, I've been here for just over a month and it's time to fly back to the US. But before we head back, we're gonna spend a few days on the island of Leyte in the city of Tacloban. Now to catch the trike to get into town, it's about a 20 minute walk through the jungle. It can get pretty muddy at times, but today it's not so bad. And you meet a lot of friendly people along the way, always smiling. And almost every one of them was a member of the family. This is Rhea's cousin carrying my bag like I couldn't carry it myself, but she insisted that he carry it, so I gave him a hundred pesos. That's like less than two bucks to carry my bags for all that way. And to him, that is a lot of money, and he's happy to do it. Just look at him. I felt terrible that he's carrying my stuff like I couldn't carry it, but Rhea wouldn't let me. She said, don't worry, my cousin's going to carry it, and that's it. And of course, me, easy going, don't want to argue. All right, it's settled, he can carry it. You know, this really is an amazing walk right off the trail here that we're walking down. Outside, it's just nothing but jungle on left and right. In fact, to the right over the hill is the Samar Island National Park. Northern and Eastern Samar have some of the most beautiful beaches and not many tourists come here. They all go to Dumaguete or Cebu or Davao or somewhere in around Manila, Palawan. So I get to enjoy the island all to myself. This island even has some of the largest cave systems in the world. Waterfalls, rivers, it's beautiful. Well, the walking portion of this trip back into town is almost over. We're going to catch a trike to the van station that's going to take us over to Tacloban. And it's going to cost 200 pesos. It's a three hour drive, three, three and a half hours. 200 pesos equates to about two bucks. Hell of a deal, hell of a deal. The trike ride, since he'll be going so far and he's got myself and Rhea and all of our bags, we'll give him probably a buck. Usually it's only about 15 pesos. Over here to the right is a little agricultural study research center. Small little campus where they study agriculture and farming. Oh, watch out, girl with the tire coming her way. It was something I felt for a long time, but uh, I kind of was hit with an epiphany. You know, stuff didn't matter, didn't want material goods. I just wanted to be able to enjoy life, the people that are in it, the surroundings, and overall, live a life that brings me joy. And that's what I have found here. And if you're ever doubting yourself, just realize your peace of mind is the most important thing going. So it doesn't matter what anybody else says, what anybody else says about you, just do what makes you happy. But also, if I could be so selfish as to just one moment say, do something that makes me happy and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> but seriously, this is a wonderful place. It's not for everybody. And if you don't like the province thing, roughing it like I do, there's plenty of opportunities in the bigger cities great hotels at fantastic prices. I've got four nights coming up in one of the top rated hotels in Tacloban and it cost $128. And that's breakfast included. I'll give them a plug, it's the Ironwood Hotel. The people are so nice, the food is terrific. However, I will tell you when you do come here, if you choose to and you look over a menu or something, you go, wow, I really like that. One thing that you will hear a lot is not available. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, it seems like sometimes not available is the phrase of the day, every day. But you gotta just take it with a grain of salt and don't care, relax, slow down. Don't get upset, life is too good. All right, about to jump on the trike and head into town. 
I always love this drive down the street into town. It is one of the most interesting things, personally, I think. You just know that you're in an entirely different world and it feels like you're living an adventure. So what I wanna do for the next five minutes or so is I'm just gonna turn up the music and enjoy the ride. Stick around and see what you think about it and leave some comments. Is it something that you would be into? Have you trekked through Asia before? Is it something you're thinking about? With that said, let's get going.
All right, tickets purchased. We're on our way. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, make a comment. Love to hear from you. Fish Tank Media signing out. Be excellent to one another.